Okay, so we got some messages on Kevin Gates. Um, smooth, very smooth, smooth person. Um, beautiful flow. Um, I felt like he's very open, but also I think he's very private at the same time. Um, he definitely has some serious ideas coming up. Um, he needs to be careful of the people that he works around. So he wants us to know that life is not fair. That's what he wants us to know. Very positive attitude, too, about the unfairness. Um, no justice, no peace, no fairness. It's disappointing, but don't worry about it. The talk is really sharp and quick, but he means what he say. Life is unfair. This industry is unfair. Everything is unfair. You're not going to always get what you want. But there are so many other options out there if you let go of what you're holding on to. It's like a minister. It's like a preacher to me. Quick fix. He knows the right words to say. He doesn't even focus on money. Money is not his top priority at all. No, his options is bigger than money. His treasures are bigger than money. He want us to change our thinking so we can see more and so we can do more. He knows that he will win without conflict. He doesn't like conflict. He doesn't like friction. <coughs> Excuse me. He doesn't like um, arguments, debates. He doesn't like that. He stay away from drama. Drama is not a part of his life. He has too many options to be successful. And he lets go of anything that's not working for him. He knows how to jump around issues and situations. His mind is his power. He has a perspective of life that's different than what's really happening on earth. What's really happening don't affect him as much because every situation he has spin it. He has power of his mind and he knows how to spin what's happening. He can take the truth and bring a positive perspective that he can maneuver around it and still get to um, the destination. He believes nothing can stop him and nothing can stop us. He's clear on how to stay out of conflict. He also has this privacy part about him. Very secretive, private, maybe even lie from time to time or cover up things. He do it for himself. I feel like he will stay secret and stay private about his money. His next moves, um, a big creation that he have in his head, a vision. He keeps the good stuff, the real, real good stuff, private. What he gives off to the world is not everything. There's only a pinch, it's a nugget. There's so much more things that's going on in his life that he's preparing for. Um, success and victory. And that part is the privacy about him. As much as he looked like he's open, he's a probably about two times more secretive. Money, vision, creation, his next move, his partnerships, his relationships, his friendships. He keeps that close to his heart. Yeah, I believe that he even is the kind of person that will say that he ate already just so that somebody else can eat. Might sound crazy, but he would rather go hungry than anybody else. So sometimes he doesn't tell the whole truth just to make other people happy. I feel like he might even give you a testimony that he never went through just to hold just to. 
heal your soul, just to help you, just to be there for you. Yeah, definitely so. This person is woke. Understand that life is not fair. The world is not fair. Understand that there is no justice. And understand not to be emotionally tied to the pain of life. He doesn't get emotionally tied to this stuff. He changes their perspective. He looks at other options. He lets go of the drama. He stays mentally focused and above. He stays away from the conflict. He stays away from the drama. This is the person that will probably <clears throat> stay away from the brutality and the violence of the cops with black people. And probably feed everybody and do a barbecue or a scholarship. Not because he's afraid, but it's just because he have a different perspective on how to uh, bring healing. He do his own thing and it works for him. There's no right or wrong in this. But he also is very secretive. But I think it helps him in the long run. Um... This is the kind of person that can keep a secret. What's next for him? Well, that's the thing that I was saying in the very beginning. He got to watch the people that he work around because he's the brains and they not. And he can believe that the people that work for him understand his vision and they probably don't. And it might stop the process of something happening because he knows what's happening, and he just believes that everybody else knows what's happening. And he's not around to manage it because he probably feel like, I told him already, I'm gone. Y'all get it? I trust y'all. And that's where the weakness come in at. Discerning people, having spiritual sight. He believed that his word was enough. So there is something here. Well, he's working with other people as a team because he want to bring some type of fairness and balance to a new project, I'll say. He's very, very passionate about this project, but it may not start. There's, it's a big possibility it won't start. He's passionate about it. He's ready to make a move on it. But I don't see a new beginning on this project. And it's because of the leadership. There's leadership issues with him. Leadership issues. The power is in him. The vision is in him. <clears throat> but the people that he work with are, I don't know, numb Maybe I'll say numb. Maybe I'll say stuck. Maybe I'll say not as not having enough knowledge as him. Maybe he picked people that he care about to work for him or on this project and not people who will be effective and have the knowledge and wisdom and the experience. These people do not feel experienced to me. And it feel like because of that, the project that he desires to work on so much that he's ready to make a move on, it's going to it's going to be um, put on pause due to a lack of power, due to a lack of instructions, due to a lack of understanding. Um, yeah, they're going to move too quick without understanding his vision. They're going to move too quick. Without getting all the answers, it feels like this team need to raise their hand and ask an answer, ask a question to get an answer. He's going to be very unclear, like, how did this happen? I can't believe that this happened. And once that happened, I believe that maturity is going to start. Spiritual insight and discernment is going to really start in him. This is a personal test that he got to go through in business. And then the changes is going to happen. After that, um, this feels very current. 
he may be involved in this right now. Right now. Big idea, big vision, big passion. Understands the project. Knows where he wants it to go. Ready to make a move. But this team around him is not fully prepared. My advice is to him is to go retrain them and um, manage them. Not just leave and go be free like a bird, but stay there with them. He needs to be hands-on in this project. Um, it's going to change his life. It's really going to change him in a way that um, I think he'll be more mature the next time around. So, by this project not starting... On time, I'll say. I think it's going to change a lot of things. Definitely. All right. He got some positive people around him, though. People love him. He the people's champ. He's like Rocky. Got a lot of love here. A lot of love. Got this cancer that shows much gratitude. Got a Gemini shows so much gratitude. Got a Scorpio ready to roll. People everywhere. They love him. Yeah. They love him. Then, at times, he may be driving a Leo or Sagittarius crazy because they don't match in work ethics. But other than that, this is a great person that's wise and um, knows how to make it here on Earth. The only weakness I see is business. Other than that, this is the people's champ right here. Yeah, this is the person who should have the most guests at the birthday party. Definitely. All right, talk to you soon.